Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another installment of No Place Like Omaha. I am your host, J.D. Wonder, alongside Nick Hendricks and Mikey Love. Mikey, please don't make that noise into the microphone. It's too distracting. He's always oh going to make me Baby noises. Bell's getting unwrapped like a horn mm. swoggle over here. Absolutely. <laughs> what? Like the little cheese nugget Pull things? Full transparency, my balls are getting destroyed right now. Probably fix that first. I mean, you got to worry about your kids. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my God. <laughs> All go? right. So, the first thing, talk about um, upsets this weekend. We can start yeah. right off on Thursday. Kentucky completing a full sweep over number one, Tennessee. Not full sweep. Two games. Full sweep? Yeah. Oh, Maybe no. you should pay attention. No, 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 no. I swear. No, nope, they lost today. Seven, or they lost on Saturday, 7-2. to two. They won Thursday. Three to two. They won Friday. Kentucky won yeah, five Friday. to two Saturday. Nope. Five two on Friday. Seven two on Sunday or Saturday. They started their series on Thursday, Nick. Yeah, I know. I'm Kentucky. looking at it right now. What? I'm being absolutely bamboozled right now. So, <laughs> still two out of three from yeah, the number bro, one. They literally opponent won Saturday. Crazy. They lost Thursday, Friday. Yeah. Learn a thing or two, please. <laughs> what I don't know what to tell at? you. I don't. I'm looking at ESPN and the, what they said. They said five to go. two on Friday and Saturday. So no, the score on no. Saturday was seven to two. Clean up my in clean favor up of my act, Clean up their act. Whatever. Well, Anyways, I'm not going to clean up my act. I'm perfect as a fucking Finch. All right. <laughs> but on Thursday they went into 13 innings, um, mm-hmm. one three to two. Yeah, that was a crazy game. I saw some highlights from it. There was a robbery. On a home run, especially late in the game. Saver? Yeah, I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool. Came in guns but, blazing. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, Absolutely. Um, I would also like to inform you that Iona now has a total of uh, five wins. Excellent. Go that down. they do. Yeah. That they do. Down. Let's <clears throat> check. That I was out. thinking that you were gonna it. you were gonna interject with your old Dominion. Old Dominion. Yeah. 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 Don't even need to say it. Flop the balls out, put them in the top 25. <laughs> put, the, put the Lions in there, baby. They take two no. out of three from Southern Miss. Put the Miss. Lions in there, baby. They took two out of three from Southern Miss. Yes, mm-hmm. put the Lions. And then they, they lost today in extras. Put the Lions in there, baby. Also, another notable win in the SEC, Vanderbilt took two out of three from Georgia. That they did. There was a impressive. monster home run over the mm. batter's eye at Georgia this weekend there? as well. Was mm. there? Yes. Was there really? But another like to... whatever, dude. Red eyes can't what? talk today. What? Go. Nope. Go, go ahead. Go, go ahead. You have, you, have you, have have you have the floor. You have the floor. I have a father. You have the floor. You have the floor. My father's name is Devil. And go ahead. Continue. Yep. Quit. Quit being the victim. Go ahead. <laughs> I was gonna say Clemson completed a full sweep against number twenty-one Georgia Tech mm-hmm. this weekend. Today yes. they won fourteen-two. They had five home runs. Um, for when I was still watching, I'm gonna try to check the. The box score here. Oh my lord, this box score is horrible on here. We're gonna try to see if we can go to Georgia Tech. Don't use Clemson's box score site. That is awful. Goodness. But they had Just five home runs. Yeah, they had five home runs early, and I think that was by the fourth inning. I mean, Clemson's offense has been red hot so far this season, and they're still doing good. The only problem is they're now after this uh win today, they're I believe ten and seventeen in SEC play. So they have a losing record in the conference, but overall they're still above 500 winning and they're not ranked in the top 25. Unlike when you go to Georgia Tech, they're, uh, I believe, middle of the pack when it comes to their ACC record. And then they're still winning so far this year. And they're 21 in the country. Mm-hmm. If that makes any sense of what I just said. Because I feel like it did, but I feel like it did not as well. Explain to me like I'm five. Full transparency. Okay. It almost sound like you said they're 10 and 17 and 500 on the year, and you lost me after that. <laughs> so Georgia Tech, before coming into this weekend, was 27 and 18 mm-hmm. in, in an overall ranking. And they were, I believe, just above 500 in ACC play. Clemson, on the other hand, they don't have their record on their site, which is dumb. But Clemson was – had a above 500 
um, overall ranking, but had a losing record in conference coming into the, this weekend, and they ended up taking three games. So they had a 7-17 and 17 record coming into this weekend. Now they're 10-17 and 17 at ACC play, and they weren't ranked at all. But Georgia Tech's record was barely better in the ACC just on the winning side. So if Mikey wants to jar in with all of his ranking conversation on how that was possible, please feel free. Mm. Um, full transparency, I zoned out. <laughs> Is, is our new saying full transparency here, boys? That's my new saying. Okay. Yeah, Mike kind of coined it, and you know certain things kind of rub off. There you go. I guess, I guess I am so. A G, okay. so I am looking, I'm looking at Sunday. Um, is this showing up for you guys too? Uh, Louisville Wake Forest. Did they end in a tie after 12 innings? Yes. Oh, for what? Yeah, they did. Was there like lights? No, it was probably uh, that travel curfew. <laughs> That's redonk. There's yeah, here I'm gonna look. Travel curfew. It happened earlier. Well, yeah, this year. the planes can't fly after 5 p.m. That's just how it no, works. What are we gonna put kids on a curfew now too? Yes. So, uh, four hours and 25 minutes of baseball was Jeez. how it was. You five, think they five, were complaining? Five. Probably. Mm. Man, that's that's tough. After they had 12 four innings. hours, four and a half hours of baseball, 12 innings. You might as well just like bear down and try to finish it. Yeah. Maybe even institute, oh my God, what? institute like the person starting a second base rule. No, no. Yep. No, no. Yep. Do not no. taint the college athletic game. Yep. No, no. no. If yep. that's the case, then we can start them in our ass. Yeah. Well, okay. Well, <laughs> then there you go. So, fun fact looking at Louisville Psycho, this is the first time that they've ended a game at a tie since playing Tulane back on March 19th of 2000. Um, and that game was finished three to three. Nothing uh, like a crisp 22 years ago, baby. Mm. Yeah, no yeah. kidding. Wow. So, I mean, that's that's insane, I believe. I'm going to take a look at it now to see who finished out the series. But Louisville was still going strong. They're 33-13 and thir- er, they're 33 and 13 on the year. Boy, if and they one. Can read today, that'd be – And one now, apparently. They ended up uh, losing the series to Wake Forest while they split it, if you don't count that game with a tie. You have mm-hmm. to count the game with the tie because it's a good game. Well, you have to record. count the game, but obviously before that, they won 6-2 to two yesterday against Wake Forest, and then they lost 14-3 to three on Friday. So then that, my friend, is what we would call a split. That's what I said. And still throw out the tie. He did correct you himself. Split. Confirmed. Did. He did correct Confirmed. himself. Confirmed. Confirmed. I don't care. Didn't ask. So Louisville, Louisville comes up care. now with Indiana in a midweek, and then they've got Virginia Tech and Virginia to close out the year. So – Sick, freaking nasty, dude. Mm. Yep. Ivan Melendez, once again, hitting absolute nukes for Texas. True. He had his he 25th on the season, mm-hmm. I believe. Somebody, I think he hit three this weekend. Yeah. What Ivan conference Melendez. is Florida State in? ACC. What? Okay. <laughs> Did Texas also, and West Virginia only have two games this weekend? No, they had all three. Uh, oh, they, they played had- a doubleheader. Yep, Can you get some factual rain. information, Josh? <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm <laughs> really struggling. With this. The <laughs> series that I did watch, I watched some of the Auburn um, and uh, Arkansas. I watched some of that. Uh, Arkansas did end up taking two out of three from them. Um, and then I caught some of the uh, TCU-Oklahoma series. Also, fun fact from Arkansas, they dropped a, week, a, mid-series, or a midweek game to Missouri State. Yeah, here, mm. if we're just going fun facts, UCLA got swept by Washington. No way. Ooh. That is not what I thought would happen. So, here's that. what I think. We just, right. you know, take them, throw them in the trash can, yep, and put up the Old Dominion Lions up in that top 25. Thoughts, comments? Perfect. No concerns. I don't, I don't know an Old Dominion Lions. I know the Old Dominion Monarchs. I am literally going to censor you for the rest of the fucking <laughs> time if you continue this. <laughs> Yeah, Washington completes the full sweep 7-1 on Saturday, 5-4 Saturday in the second game of the doubleheader, 4-3 coming in that second game on Sunday. Ranking still not out yet. What? Is that a baseball pun? For what? 4-3. Nah, no. Well, I mean, I guess. And then there was a 5-4, a 4-3. I don't really know how a 7-1 double play would come into standards, but it's happening. Very easily. (laughs) The pitcher is the pitcher's covered home plate. So this is what would happen, right? Catcher uh-huh. taken out by the backswing, dead, deceased, <laughs> literally. So 
so the pitcher has to bust his ass like Kermit the Frog, run there, <laughs> catch it like Odell, bro, and slap him like Michael Chandler did this weekend. Oh, my goodness. Oh. So the catcher slumped like his opponent, for sure. Yeah, the catcher's dead. Yeah, he's legitimately. Dead. This There's no dead. coming back. Uh, another sweep wow. on the weekend was UConn sweeping Creighton. Which kind yeah. of third their place in the Big East. UConn is just absolutely on a tear this year. Yeah. I mean, it's it's crazy. I mean, their offense is, is just red hot on the board so far this year. They have really not had, had big falls so far. They're 40-8 and eight on the season, and they're only ranked 15th. And granted, they're in the Big East, but still, you're a 40-8 and eight team. You're 14-1 and one in conference overall. They're now on a nine-game win streak. They are at home. They're 17-2, and two, and this is the most impressive part. They are 22-5 and five on the road. Why is that impressive? That's a that's a stat line. You're twenty two and five on the road. On the road is Tennessee's ten and two on the road. Well, Tennessee is also number one team in the country. Maybe not after this weekend. Oregon State might jump up unless no. they had a big stop talking like that. I'm pretty sure Oregon State beat Oregon. I think they took two out of three out of their matches. No, they swat. There's a four oh, game goodness. actually. So lick my balls. It started. Well, there was a game. Don't on tempt Tuesday, me with but... a good time. There's oh, a game on Tuesday. Yeah. So I'll count it a four gamer. Let's say Oregon State thirty and not or thirty eight and nine on the year. They close out the season against Arizona and UCLA full game sweep. Yeah, they went four game sweep. One on Tuesday, one on Friday, one on Saturday, one on Sunday. Man, that's a big week <sighs> for the Beavers. There you go. They're looking to still hold. They're going to probably hold on to that Pac twelve and win it there. They're eighteen and six in the conference, but still. I like I like UConn's run coming up so far. They're they've got Xavier coming up Friday, Saturday, Sunday, midweek game against Northeastern, and then they got Georgetown to close out the end of the year before the Big East uh, conference tournament. Here, let me ask you this: Do you think right. so Gonzaga didn't play a series this weekend? No, they did not. Should they then drop? Uh, mm-hmm. I don't I don't know about that. I think well, that why should, why should they say they no. didn't. Anybody. Because they – well, but it's not like it's their choice, you know, to do that. You, this is a baseball game, bro. This is a spring sport. You're supposed to play Excuse every me. weekend. No, you're not. You're supposed you to, to have take one break vacation. Weekend. Go play football, baby. Um, what? Sir. Yeah. Talking about the bye weeks. I okay, mean, I will see some mix-up. I think we'll see some mix-up around the other um, oh, yeah. numbered spots for sure. I think Southern Miss definitely falls at least four spots. At least. I feel like now Old Dominion kind of establishing that they should be ranked and then Southern Miss should fall. I don't think they'll fall out of it. Old Dominion should have been ranked. Being big, ranked seventh, it'd be a huge drop to fall seven to <coughs> – Oh, man. I'm again, we were recording this. Oh, excuse He's me. He's got COVID. Confirmed? Not, no, oh, no, I do not have COVID. Not got confirmed. Quarantine. Confirmed. Quarantine. No, not confirmed. confirmed. Where are you um, getting this confirmed from? Jesus. <laughs> yeah, you talk to G- you talk to Jesus. All right, good for you. I don't know Jesus. I know Jesus. Okay. Well, I was going to say uh, Texas A&M, they ended up winning their series against South Carolina. They dropped today, but they're the biggest factor on who would bump up as well before Gonzaga. I think Gonzaga has stayed at 12 for now two straight weeks, um, <laughs> if not three. Has Texas A&M just come out of nowhere, or have they been in top 25 for the past couple of weeks? They've they been in the, in the discussion, mm-hmm. but they've always been just on the outside kind of looking in like we kind of talked about earlier in the season. Has Virginia Tech been top five for a while? They've been in the top 25. Yeah, they've been in for about two weeks. Why is this the first time I'm seeing them up here? Okay, well. Because you I'm probably blind. zone out when I list them off and rattle it through. Well, but I do hold my breath. That, he was just yeah. mad that old Dominion, he's like just upset about that the entire time. That's I was gonna say it makes sense. Texas A and M has had um, they've been very consistent throughout the year, um, pretty much winning every single series except for so far. All I'm seeing is Alabama and Auburn, the only two SEC series that they lost. They had big wins over LSU, which was a series win. Uh, they had a big win over Texas when Texas was ranked 12th. Texas State at 15. Um, they had. Two wins out of three against Georgia when Georgia was ranked tenth. They beat Dallas Baptist when they were twenty five, fourteen to one. Um, they beat Arkansas in a full series where Arkansas was ranked three. Vanderbilt in twenty two. So 
So, I mean, Texas A&M has been consistent. They got a Mississippi State team who's still trying to find themselves. Um, yeah. Coming up, they had Florida tonight. I was watching a little bit of that game while I was out to dinner. Um, they were Total trailing. Flash. They were, I know. They were trailing three to two when I saw their 25 and 23 so far um, on the year. So, trying to – get that run is going to be hard to try to repeat. They ended up getting swept by the Gators at home in Starkville. 6-2 today was the final, and that happened just a little bit ago. So, yeah. Gators. And as we're doing this on Sunday night, we got no rankings coming out for the next couple of days or until tomorrow. Uh-huh. Probably just edit that out. <laughs> well, I mean, got to be – Got to be full with the people. You know what I mean? Full? What does that mean? Full transparency. What do you, what do you mean by that? Yeah. Full, full transparency. Hey, <laughs> like don't go using my lingo. You just coined oh, it. And it's just so God. touchy. Yeah, it's fucking I mean, but awful. you didn't trademark the phrase, so, like, yeah. technically it's up for so grabs. So, I can technically use it, and it's not copyrighted. You didn't have a patent filed two years ago. So. Nick's just going to make it lame. Sorry, so, so, here's the <laughs> All right, go for it. I don't care what you say. Um, <laughs> it's copyrighted by me. I don't need say. legal documents. I am definitely not in love with you if you're going to be an a-hole. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mary, Mary Hanukkah, I'll wrap Soto your ass into a taco. What? <laughs> what are the words coming? Half the time I think you're having a stroke. No, you, you would yeah. never be able to tell. Cornbread, chicken pie, yeah. Mm. It's like, I love I, I've been what? talking, Raps. bro. If I ever do and I'm talking, and I go, <laughs> it's gonna be yeah, a normal Willie Adamas, <laughs> Willie Adamas, grasshopper, frog, Kermit, Yerp, and I'm just shaking Yerp. my head. <laughs> just don't worry. What is happening? <laughs> do not worry if that happens. Uh, now, I don't even, if I, don't I ever know coin what a complete sentence, mm. punctuation and everything, Included, then worry. Call nine one one immediately. Interesting. <laughs> Why is that? A bomb is coming. Oh, oh. I'm code. Oh. I'm I'm talking code. Like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, looking at another game for this weekend. I think they only played one because the other one got postponed, and they play again Monday. Mm-hmm. Who is Maryland and Rutgers? Yes, Maryland won the first game that they played together pretty yeah, handily. So they played and then they, better today. Just yeah, it do. flip-flopped immensely. Maryland wins the first game 16-8. Rutgers comes back, wins game two, 18-7. Mm-hmm. So here's a weird thing for you guys. Um, right. Rutgers, even if Maryland wins tomorrow. Are you looking at the standings? Rut- yeah, Rutgers still holds possession of first. The only way it come into effect is if there's a tiebreaker. Well, if Maryland wins the next game, wouldn't they then have the tiebreaker to them? Yeah. Okay. But they can still like they saying. can still fall out. Maryland's only two and a half games back. But like but you you're saying like if Rutgers then wins the rest of their if games. Ru- if yeah, if Rutgers loses tomorrow, this. then they're only a half game or a half game up on Maryland. And Maryland holds the tiebreaker. Hmm. So yeah. they're just gonna want to hold that over. For well, sure. they'll just want to win. Uh huh. Period. Probably. Yeah. Would be my guess. Well, yeah. I mean, I don't go out there unless your name's lose, Iona. You know what I'm saying. Ugh. I don't think they go out there with that intention. I think at this point, it's just like, well, just, it is what it is. I guess. Go out there. I don't. They're zero and twenty-eight on the road. In case you guys were curious, <sighs> that's big time tough. Because mm-hmm. I was gonna say, Rutgers still has Michigan to play next weekend. They play Bowling Green, so they don't have. Uh, in conference? Uh, yeah, they don't have a conference game next week. And then they've got Michigan to close out on May 19th through the 21st. Maryland, on the other hand, they've still got two Big Ten series left. They've got Michigan, who's a very tough team, uh, and it will be tough competition for both coming up the end of the, end of the year. And then they've got Purdue as well. Mm. One for one midweek game in between that Michigan and Purdue series, and that's going to be James Madison. But Maryland's still trying to make their case within the top 25 as it stands still today. Maryland's 18th. Rutgers not in the top 25. Um, Stupidity. It is. It is kind of stupid. You got two Big mad. Ten teams that are battling it out, and Rutgers, like you said, Mike, is first in the Big Ten, and they are not ranked in the top 25 at all. So it, and, it's funny because you could also throw Iowa and Illinois into the mix. 
Uh, Illinois. Um, yeah, Illinois. Illinois. Also, where are you finding these standings? Um, my brain. My brain. I don't think that's true, but okay. Um, I do think though, after this weekend, I think UC Santa Barbara will jump up. Uh, where in the they, holy high hell did that just come from? I'm just looking at like like ranked opponents, all this kind of stuff, because UC Santa Barbara. There's no to way here around this weekend. There's no way. Like they won the first game two nothing. Pretty sure, and then I think UCLA drops out of top ten. So Miss drops out of top ten. Then they won. Their I think Tennessee next falls to probably to th- what Oklahoma State. Oh no, UC Irvine did take one from them. So yeah, what never mind then. Never mind then. Yeah. Okay, they State. dominated them in the last game. I think I think you move Okie State into two. Uh, Oregon State moves up to one. Yep, and Tennessee yeah. goes to three. There's no three. reason they should stay one. Oh, no. No, huh? Losing you three straight to an unranked that, yeah. opponent. They may even drop to five. I, I would say drop them back to five as well because Oregon State's been tearing it up. They are, they've been red hot so far in the second half of the year. Move them up. Oklahoma State defense has been absolutely stellar, and so is the pitching. Um, Arkansas, I think even after that uh, midweek series, and then how did they do again this weekend? They won two out of three. I they won two out of three. Mm-hmm. Oh, Auburn's yeah, they did that Auburn. Auburn and Auburn's think, good because they, yeah. they took one from Tennessee as well. So I th- yeah. I feel like Auburn's going to drop to 24 even though they shouldn't because they've had some hard series these past two weekends. Yeah, they kind of ran through a gauntlet. If I, okay, in all actuality, I think Tennessee should go to third, but I don't think – I think they'll only fall to second just because they're the poster child of NCAA baseball right now. Mm. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, I I would not be surprised if Old Dominion doesn't get in the top twenty five because they mm-hmm. keep getting shafted every week. Interesting. Mm-hmm. I was gonna I say get, yeah. I'll... I do want to have a conversation, but <laughs> I do. Now you're back to having conversation. Yeah. Was steamroller? On full. Yep. No, no, not there the steamroller. There yeah. is the steamroller. I was gonna say Auburn has had a tough. They've had a little bit of a gauntlet here, like you said, Josh. They had South Carolina on a midweek series. They ended up uh, sweeping South Carolina, who's just he, they've been a pesky team all year. Mm-hmm. Um, have the Gamecocks. Tennessee, you get there, you take one away from them. You take one away from Arkansas while they're ranked three in the country and lose a series. And all all close games, you had an 11-8 game, three-run deficit there on Friday, 5-3, two-run deficit on Saturday, and then you had a 7-4. So they or all these games were within three runs. So that just comes down to either not being able to execute as much or um, just light pitching – difficulties towards the end kind of looking at um today's game auburn had a run late in the ninth but otherwise arkansas jumped out to it very early and then auburn just couldn't get the runs back so i mean it's the sec is still a very very um tough conference to look at and i'm going to try to i did find the standings mikey they're not mm-hmm. on your brain how do you know I'm looking, because i'm looking I at think it right it's now his brain I think you so. You're that. looking at Mikey's brain right now? No, no. Bro. I don't, how but, did he get how did he see it, Mikey? Quick an answer for vision? Josh. Hmm. Am I a boobs guy or an ass guy? Answer. I don't want to answer that on air right now. I know the answer. Full transparency, it's neither. He's a big feet guy. Oh, that. There we go. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> no, Mikey's Mikey's a butt guy for <laughs> sure. <laughs> But looking at the SEC, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> looking at the SEC. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> All right. But looking at the SEC right now, so far as the standings sit today in the West, Arkansas leads the top. They're 16 and 8 overall in the conference. Um, two games back is Texas A&M. LSU is two and a half. And then Auburn, like we've been talking about, they've had that gauntlet. They're at three games back. Um, still able to catch up a little bit, kind of looking at the rest of the series that they have. They've got Alabama, and then they've got Kentucky, who's apparently been a tough team um, so far in the last couple of weeks for teams to play, even though Kentucky's 9-15 and overall um, in the SEC. Throw it back over to the east side now where Kentucky is. Tennessee is 20-4 and overall in the conference. They have a seven-game lead over Georgia. Vanderbilt now eight games back as they picked up a couple of games from their weekend victories against Georgia so that east side looks to be a little bit more on lock with Tennessee otherwise the western half is just in a dog fight there are some big key games that'll still come up uh Auburn might be able to pull out a couple more wins and jump ahead of LSU I'll take a look at LSU's schedule as well trying to jump 
see if they can jump up above Texas A&M. Yeah, I have no words for you. We're gonna say, are we just sitting on an awkward silence right here? It's only awkward happening? if you make it awkward. Uh, I didn't know you were trying to make it awkward. Confirmed. All right, oh. well, whatever. It Got him. Though Josh is deceased. Yeah, I know. I was gonna say it. he's El- getting El- sweet. What? I knew it. Confirmed. No, whoa, confirmed. Not on the, not confirmed. On confirmed. Nope. confirmed. That's false statements. Nope. Confirmed. Those of you just listening, no, those false statements. Those of you watching. Those of you, you watching. I am. See. Josh I'm in the batting cage. So can't nope. say that on air. That's <laughs> explicit can, words that will get us naughty. We can only see the top nope. half, though. See? Nope. Factual statement? Nope. Confirm. Looking at it right here. I've got Confirm. it. I've got it. Confirmed. I don't know what you want from me. No coming back Confirmed. From I got it right here. I can't believe both of you. I don't need this. So, <laughs> on here's the podcast. what I'll tell you all. This. I'll tell you all. This. <laughs> all right. This is fascinating to see that Vanderbilt and – Florida still have very good records, like overall. That they do. Mm-hmm. So to me, and when Converse play rolls around, I think the SEC is going to be the most interesting. I would agree. And then I think from there, you're going to go ACC. It's going to be all power five for it, just in terms of competitiveness. But then I don't know after that. The Big 12 could be interesting because Texas is in the bottom half of the conference, in case you were curious, Nick. They're in the bottom four now, yeah. Yeah, your team's Truth. dog shit. Jeez. Um, <laughs> just real quick, by the way. It's <laughs> cool. Just drop it on me here. Yeah, no, <laughs> Stamp oh, approval be an ass. Hey, can he say that? Yes. Well, I was. Can I you say that? Can you say that? No, probably not on there. We need probably to have. We need to have somebody in the background that can just censor all this. But they'd be just. No. Like, they're like, I mean, oh my I, gosh! Would you guys? I think no. should be the one, but I'm they'd not be laughing it. so hard they wouldn't be able to catch it. Unbelievable. That's true. And then I think I hate to say it, but I think the Big Ten is after the Big Twelve. Really? The Pac twelve? Not the Pac twelve? No. Hmm. Pac twelve is no. a little bit. Kind of disagree there. I don't kind of disagree with that. That's fine. You can. Disagree. There's some. There's some pretty good teams in the Pac-12 that I think. Yeah, I think who? right now it's like Rutgers and Maryland that are the top ones. That's Big Ten, but yeah, in the Big Ten, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. But like, oh, who I else you is going to compete? <laughs> like, what are you doing? Yeah, oh, man, Purdue. Long side of the. But looking at the Pac-12 right now, oh. Oregon State at top. They have a three-game lead over every, or over Stanford, who's next. Arizona sits there. UCLA, they'll drop after they got uh, beat down by Washington this weekend, who uh, also is the bottom three of the conference. The Trojans at USC, they're dropping down. Records-wise, overall, everybody's Trojans pretty Trojans mo- of USC haven't been anywhere but last for the longest time. I know, but I'm just – What like, do you mean they're dropping down? Did I say can't fall I, any no, farther. No, I said they're down at the bottom. No, you, you said, said you were dropping lying. down. <laughs> Whatever. You... Can they go farther oh, down? I understand. No, probably. I understand how you meant it now. There you you go. are going down to the bottom and work. I see. Uh-huh. Uh huh. But... No, he's going to the bottom of the list. I, I'm I'm there with you. Yep, me too. Understand. Take me some time. It's understand. Sunday. Not happy to go to work tomorrow. Mm. So blow up this video so I don't have to work. <laughs> <laughs> Sponsor us. <laughs> Get on the I got some. I got Flint some sponsors that I can no, you for you. <laughs> I do. I have some. Oh, God. Please don't mention another ad that's up on your screen. <laughs> I got right one, now. bro. It's right here. What is it? Win Reality, baby. Powered by Win Reality VR baseball training. Actually, that is a good training method. I have seen that is that a good training utilized method. a lot. Sponsor us, please. So you can also, full transparency, we still don't have any sponsors. We barely have five sponsors. We do. They just don't send you emails. <laughs> no, they're Mike is just filtering not. them. <laughs> oh, my gosh. When reality actually is on my browser right now. <laughs> Hold your asshole. <laughs> <laughs> not going to lie. Hold on. Oh, I got to yeah. show that. I got to put the camera over here to show the, winner, the crap. Winner. When reality right there. You're winner. not going to be able to see much of it, but. Oh boy! Now I got to get back to now, being focused uh, on here. Josh. But going to your Pac-12, I don't. It'll just be the four teams. The top four is all that's gonna make it to the. I guess the end of the conference. It just won't be. 
It could like the fu- the championship game for the Pac-12 can be interesting. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying for the, the rest of the tournament wise. won't be. I don't think it'll be good. I'm just saying competition wise compared to the Big Ten. Yeah, the Big Ten, the SEC, the ACC. I mean, Pac-12 has always been little brother of the Power Five. Mm-hmm. If you think about right. it, not yeah, that, that, is, that is fair. True. But at the same time, they do produce some good ball clubs for sure. I mean, having oh yeah, two oh, yeah. two teams that'll probably be in the top ten. I now, think Stanford will make the jump. Uh, oh yeah, but, I mean we we bring that yeah. up to anybody else. They'll say the Big Ten, Big Big Ten or Big Twelve is probably the worst two conferences of the Power Five. But right. yeah, well, and taking a look also, kind of like I mentioned earlier, UConn um, leading the Big or leading the Big East right now, and then Creighton's behind. They're four games back. Xavier, that's not going to be as tough of a conference. There's still some good ball clubs in that. Creighton should still hopefully make a regional appearance. Um, at some point, they're 25 and 15, but UConn would probably be easily the front runner to win overall and bounce into the regionals fairly easy, even without winning the conference, because they would, should have won the regular season outright. Yes. I would love to see UConn move to a different conference. Maybe even mm-hmm. Creighton, but I don't know what conference they'd move to. Uh, Creighton can move, could have their pick. UConn, though. Yeah. Uh, well, because I was going to say the only issue that you would see there is besides baseball and besides the basketballs, UConn is kind of irrelevant when it comes to a lot of other sports. So, I mean, you've got a couple of – you've got a couple more games there, a couple of good records. Otherwise, UConn trying to move into another conference might be a little tough. The closest they could move into would be the uh, Big Ten. Like you say that – but then Vanderbilt is really only known for basketball. Like they're – or not basketball, baseball. Like they're they're True. they're cheeks at football. Mm-hmm. They're not as bad as Missouri is at football. <laughs> but it's like every conference, they have their teams where they're bad at one oh, yeah, and good at another. Mm-hmm. I mean, like Nebraska's got bowling and women's volleyball. <laughs> Anything that's not a men's sport. Gymnastics. Um, yeah. True. And then yeah. – it's just like, like for the ACC, like it's or not the ACC, the Pac-12. It's just a. I feel like that is a conference that's pretty good at a lot of things. Pac-12 is very good all around. Yes. Whereas, like the other ones, they're dominant in one sport mm-hmm. and absolute buns at others. <laughs> there you but, go, Pac-12 fans. Yeah. Oh, off. I was no oh gosh. Looking at the ACC when it comes to it, um, in the coastal region, Miami takes the top so far on that. They're two games ahead. Virginia Tech locks up that second spot. And then Virginia comes up uh, at that three. Georgia Tech, who has been relevant. And this is what I was talking about. Georgia Tech yeah. overall in the season, 27-21. and 21. In now, in the ACC, they're 12-15. and 15. Damn. Take a look at Clemson, who is 31-17 and 17 overall on the year. 9 of 14 in conference play, and they're the bottom two of the Atlantic, rounding out the bottom uh, three of the entire ACC conference, throwing it to the top of that Atlantic division. You got Louisville, um, who is now 15, 8, and 1 with the little blemish. Then you got Notre Dame, who's 13 and 8, and they're one game back in the Atlantic. Mm-hmm. So Notre Dame, if, if Louisville loses one more game so far in their next couple of series, Notre Dame could possibly pop up. Florida State, they're two and a half games back, so they're sitting on that wire as well. I think when you're looking at kind of that ACC tournament schedule, um, Miami is so far the front runner overall, I think, in the ACC when you come to record-wise. Louisville's two seed. Virginia Tech, Virginia will hop in there. Notre Dame, Florida State should. And I think your last two teams in are either going to be Pittsburgh or uh, NC State. Hmm. So, there's a lot of competition still left in that uh, ACC play with a couple of big series coming up on the weekends. So, but we'll hop to that when we can. Rice, Waterhouse, Coppers, LL. What the fuck is that, bro? (laughs) Wendy Murdoch. Are you related to Matt Murdoch? Are you the fucking woman daredevil? What? (laughs) Oh god, I got positive. <laughs> what are we doing right now? <laughs> My bad. Oh, My bad. Weird segue. My bad. Um oh, we're looking one. at other uh, after our little intermission there, looking at other conferences. What uh, what else are we looking at there? 
What are we, what are we seeing? What's sticking Daredevil. out? Not <laughs> that. Not that. Um, uh, I think that, honestly, Texas State will continue to stay in the top 20. To. Just, I just don't think that they have a strong enough conference, and they're just continuing to win games. They're continuing to win series. I would love to see them come to yeah. Omaha. For sure. Yeah, yeah. I think it'd be a, that'd be a Cinderella team. They would definitely would get pulled for. Oh, yeah. Southern Miss would be another Cinderella team as well. Sorry, Mike. I think they're still, even with the drop from Old Dominion this weekend, um, they'll probably – they'll drop back to maybe 13-ish, and they'll they'll sit there for the rest of the year. Um, Old, Old Dominion mushrooms stamp them. Okay. Just because I said that one time. You there we go. My love gosh. that phrase, don't you? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> great. Um, Notre Dame still has a chance to try to get to Omaha after they missed out last year from the Super Regionals, getting knocked out Florida State? Notre Dame. Notre Dame. Oh. I, don't I don't know, know where, where you got Florida from, State but... from. Okay. Yeah, I don't know where you're getting that one from. Uh, Florida State could be another one, too. They've kind of hit a little bit of a stride so far in the last three weeks of the year. Um, we'll take a look to see who they got at the end of the year. But if they can get back, especially with their first year after um, – I believe it's their first year with a new coach. They're looking to try to get back in as they're one of the best, like one of the most appearing teams in Omaha um, throughout history. Them, LSU, Texas has been another big one as well. UC Irvine, Cal State Fullerton, they're all up there. Um, but taking a look at Florida State for the rest of the year, they've got Miami coming up. Um, and Miami is a huge team that they got to pull for. And then North Carolina to finish out the year, they got Florida in a midweek game in between that series. So um, a lot of ground to cover if the Seminoles kind of want to jump in. And like I said, I'm going to pull up the ACC once again real the, quick. The crazy thing is that teams can turn it on right at the oh, at yeah. conference play and they can still yes. make their way. Like, in, if they mm-hmm. catch it at the right time, it doesn't even matter the overall record because they can still come to Omaha. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like that um, – was it Fresno State in 2009, I believe? Uh, yeah, 2009. Record and made it to the College of Series and won it. That's what's so cool, though. I think that was 2007. Absolutely. 2007, okay. 2007, yeah. yeah. Okay. No. Gosh, that's – yeah, it was 2007. No, I thought 06 and 07, fight, fight, fight. Um, Oregon State won back-to-back. They did, but uh, – Then how can Fres- – Fresno State didn't play a championship. What? Fresno State did not play in the championship. Fight, fight, fight. Hold on. We're going to fact check this here. I think. Um, when was? 2008. So we were both wrong. It was eight. 2008. That means I so. was right. Let's go. Here what? Go. That right. doesn't mean that you were right because you Welcome didn't. Welcome to Pem, Dodge. No. Welcome to Pem, Dodge. Yeah, but 2006 baby. and 7, Oregon State won back to back. And yep. 2008, they won. Mm-hmm. Anyways, then, regardless of that, they were one of the only teams to win, or the only team possibly to win with a losing record. Yeah. And then throw it up to South Carolina, who won in 2009 mm. before switching over to TD Ameritrade in 10, where 10, they did 10. the repeat. Yep. UCLA tried to get them in 2011 when they or UCLA got them in 2011 for South Carolina to try to go on the the three peat mm-hmm. and then I could keep going on but I will stop because if you if you had the list I bet I could probably rattle off everybody from then on for sure yeah because just because like all of us growing up around here we oh yeah just you know being in that environment every single season for sure yeah. Um, so, oddly enough, I, I kind of want to hear opinions on this since we got it before we mm, kind of rattle off jump the next ship week. on. Yeah, rattle off the mm-hmm. next week. Um, as it stands right now, throw out the top eight national seeds. Who would your top eight teams be coming oh, into goodness. Omaha? <sighs> hmm. We still have still have two weeks of conference play left. Conference tournament to go. But who would you have? For sure. Um, do the conferences that started early, do they still have two weeks of conference play left? Mm, oh, that's a great question. They have championships I think they would, early then? Yeah, they would have championships early. Oof. That's lame. I believe. So, anybody? Hmm? Who would you – 
Mike, do you pay attention? I want to <laughs> say. I want to say. <laughs> geez. I want to say. I still can see Tennessee making it here. Okay. Well, I can't say still because I don't think I had them in my early predictions or whatever. But those are pretty much out the window. Um, for Texas, you, Texas A and M, for sure. I can see them kind of sneaking their way in. Um, same with as I said, Stanford at the beginning of the season. I still think they could sneak away in as well. Mm-hmm. Um, bouncing around, I think Arkansas can make a run depending on where they're seated and who they'll play in, like the regional and super regional. That's four. Gotcha. Oklahoma State could be one. Um, just kind of glancing around. I could say the same for Notre Dame too. Just kind of. Is it at all possible to have eight teams from the same conference? No. Mm-mm. No, because of seeding. Seeding and then uh, regional tournaments. Mm-hmm. Yep. Because it, not everybody's going to make it in. So, like the SEC, uh, we'll take them for example, because I feel like that would be the the easiest. And once again, I hate the fact that the SEC is that big of a powerhouse, and you have to always put that in consideration. But it's true. So take a look at the SEC. You have all these teams that are just tearing it up across the board, ranked top 25 through all. They would probably end up, if they're not a top eight national seed, then they'll get hit with having to probably go into the same uh, super regional or at one point a regional. Like Arkansas could, um, let's say, if for some reason Texas A&M doesn't host a regional, they might get tossed into the Fayetteville regional or they might get tossed into the Knoxville with Tennessee. So, I mean, there are so many different but, ways that that could go through. Hear me out. What if the SEC has the number eight, the first one through eight seats of national ranking? And they just went out? Yeah. That. I still don't think that – I think that regardless, they wouldn't be able They've to – They've got to have something in place to with make how it it's, – Yeah, out. with how everything is yeah. set up, I think that somehow there has to be just a few different teams that regardless of um, – mm-hmm. like where – yeah, regardless of it, they'd face in the Super Regional and be able to win to go on. This is kind of like – face. This is kind of like the overtime hockey rules that aren't used – because it's never happened. Like, if you get yeah. to a fifth overtime, they drop two pucks. Interesting. Dead serious. Yeah, I've never heard that. If you go to the seventh overtime, I don't think it's an actual statement, but Three cool bucks. it was. No, there's sealed envelope that's never been opened. That's okay, that's cool. kind of – now I want to open it. Well, we got to get to seven overtimes. All right, well, I'm going to pay a team, pay both sides. Be like, guys, we got to – Okay, do chill it. out. There's a school hey, called well, Elon, wow. but I don't think you have Elon Musk money. Oh, I do, hundred percent. Stop. Doing Just promise them. Promise then why are we not sponsored? <laughs> <laughs> I promise I them like say, five dollars. Yeah. Five and change at the local McDonald's. Also, they get um, a talk show called The Morning After. Probably not the best. They thing. missed it with the name. Yeah. That's wow. Yeah. They... Not doesn't play. Um, um, but I was gonna take a look to see. Uh, last year's college world series because vanderbilt was in there then you have mississippi state in there as NC well so there's, state. there's two sec teams. i'm just looking at like oh just um, for the sec yeah for sec so the tennessee, tennessee was there. yep uh vanderbilt was in there and then mississippi state so you had three sec teams in there last year um when it comes to everything else you had a pac-12 team in there you had an ac you had two pack three pac-12 teams Three oh, Pac-12 teams. Mikey ACC. says the Pac-12 isn't as good as Big yeah. Ten. So. It's not. Mm. Texas was the only team that was a separate conference that did not have anybody in there, and that was the Big 12. Interesting. So, and everybody um, everybody last year had a true above 500 record. Um, I think look, Taking a look at it now, the only team that had probably the lowest win percentage – uh, was Virginia, and they were thirty-five and twenty-five. Hmm. So, but yeah, I mean, there's there's plenty of teams here, right? Kind of the way that I would look at it right now is that if you had to put eight teams in there, um, I think looking at just the way that the offensive production still is for Tennessee and just how how good they are as a team, 
as a whole, I think Tennessee comes up in there. Um, probably I would say Oklahoma State defensively. I think they can easily get through a regional. Offense can be pretty good. Um, they've got some good key pitchers as well. I think the biggest threat somebody sees is that young Miami team that, Miami team that I keep talking about. Um, they've got one of the best batting averages as a team so far in the NCAA, um, as well as they've just got a bunch of guys that nobody knows a lot about. So teams that are kind of coming in through the regionals, you're not going to see a lot of them. So I think those are the three biggest teams to kind of watch out for when you hop in there. I feel like UCLA could also be a team that hops up and finds no. a way into the – what is it? What do you got against UCLA? They're in the Pac-12. Right. Yeah, you can, you've got a Pac-12 vendetta. Everybody's Media got the eight. SEC vendetta. Not I. I not not said the not I. But Interesting. No, I think out of all these teams that you guys just listed, the only one I think that you've missed is maybe Auburn. I think Auburn It could be sneaky, job. but again – Coming up against those SEC opponents, mm-hmm. yeah, but they—I I don't even know. Like unless I mean, they don't have to face them in a regional or super regional, just like we just well, talked about, where it's like they will. could get lumped in yeah. to the Fayetteville regional. Well, like you, if stuff. you look at their past six games, right? You've got Tennessee and Arkansas. They've only taken mm-hmm. two games out of the six, and I mean, you—the first two, the first game against each team were hot was high scoring. The rest of mm-hmm. them yeah. have been decently close. Right. So it's like it's not that they can't handle their own. It's just I it's guess a matter of like they just kind that, of that just little separation. Yeah, because like they got a series winning against Texas A and M, LSU, Vanderbilt, South Carolina. I think pitching just, would be their biggest biggest downfall. Mm, it'd be cool. I don't. When's the last time Auburn's even been here? A few years ago. Yeah, they were Was here a couple recently. Years ago. Mm-hmm. Has Georgia ever been here? Yes. Yes. Georgia was here. They played uh, Fresno State back in 08. Yep. And championship. Because Georgia, Georgia, I think, was the number one overall seed that year. Oh. If not, they were a top eight national. But a team like Texas State never has, have they? Uh, I don't know. I can't remember if Texas State has or not. I don't know the true history on that. I think a team that would be really fun to see and to see them complete this would be the Cinderella team would either be uh, UConn or Texas State. Or, hear me yeah. out, Old Dominion, Old Dominion Lions. Old Dominion. Yep, there it is. Monarchs. Yes, sir. Lions. Old Dominion Monarchs. Lions. Oh, my gosh. But, yeah. It's, Lions. We still got some big big games coming up throughout the week. I mean, we can hop in on, on Wednesday real quick when this yep. this will be posted out. Southern Miss, ah! Old, Old Miss. Oh, my God, my ass. So that should be good. So, they got another What's SEC up? test to try to prove himself. Um Virginia Tech has Liberty, who at the beginning of the year was in the top 25. They were a solid team. Georgia Tech has Georgia Southern, who just dropped out of the top 25 last week. Um, Miami's got UCF. They need to keep on their run to hold strong. Virginia has – this is going to be really fun to say, to see Mikey's reaction. Virginia has Longwood on Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> Long, dude, dong. Yes, sir. There you go. Um, <laughs> Fuck yeah, baby. That kind, of rounds out, that kind of rounds out the top five. Hold Iona on, just for the St. viewers John's. in the back, who do they play? For the who? For the people in the back who didn't hear. For the Virginia. people in the back, Virginia yeah. has Longwood. At yeah, the they do. <laughs> yeah, they do. Can you imagine if Longwood uses their long wood and just, just dicks them down? Oh. And there's a reason why when I have to go through this, it says it's not meant for kids when I'm posting this. <laughs> it's funny you mentioned that because I almost interrupted you and asked, what would happen if I spread my butt cheeks for Playgirl Magazine Jeez. on this podcast? Name the girl under the name Mike Honcho. <laughs> Good I night. Know I don't know how to answer that. That just Old took Dominion. a turn. Yeah, we're going to move on. It's all, it's all right next there. fall. <laughs> No, oh, it's not. Fault. You said Longwood, yeah. baby. That's you said it. Lying. Not you just me. said the name of the school. I would have never have known. Never. I don't He's look at the Wednesday job. game. That's a you guys thing. Oh, my thing. gosh. Hey. Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. there we go. Thursday, yes. Georgia, so Tennessee. So far as it sits, Georgia, Tennessee, 22 oh, versus number one. That Hold should on. be. 
Oh, I'm sorry. This is Thursday. We're but Georgia Thursday. will fall out of the top 25 after losing to Vanderbilt. Tennessee might drop Tennessee back. Tennessee will four. drop a little bit. Yeah. But for sure, I mean, it'll still be a good matchup between the two. But if I feel like if Tennessee yeah. drops this weekend, they might see time out of the top mm-hmm. 10. I'm going to be honest. Yeah, I would, I would say so. If they even drop two games. If they drop, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Texas Tech, Oklahoma State have a series on Friday through Saturday or Friday through Sunday, nine versus three as it sits right now. Uh, Louisville, Virginia Tech, that should be a good series as well. Clemson Virginia and Tech Virginia. Host. Clemson, Virginia. And I'm telling you, this Clemson team, after watching them today and a little uh, bit of yesterday, thank you, me. they have some – They've got some very good hitting when it comes to it, and their record shows it. It might not show it all in ACC play when um, they've played some tough competition, but they've got guys, and they've got a lot of young arms in the bullpen that could really spot up. Um, they had some big guys today make a couple of key starts over the weekend as well. Um, so, Virginia better watch themselves. Coming yeah, out they're of playing weekends, Longwood. Here. No. God. <laughs> Any oh opportunity he has to yeah. act like a child, it'll happen. <laughs> yeah. Uh, other other big series this weekend, number six, Miami goes to Tallahassee. They got Florida State. Uh, Mississippi State has Texas A&M. Don't, LSU hosts Ole Miss. Don't what? leave out this Southern Miss series. Yeah, Southern Miss has uh, University of Texas, San Antonio, the Roadrunners of UP. This, this series will, will dictate who wins Conference USA, just so you know. Oh. oh, really? What do we got mm-hmm. for the standings on that? You got it? UTSA is two games behind. Two games behind? Mm-hmm. Who is, in Southern Conference Miss. USA, who is winning that top? Southern Miss. Right. Southern Miss? Yeah, Old Dominion Lions are in the middle. The Monarchs? I see the, the Monarchs. Middle. The Lions? I see the Lions right there. Gosh. Gosh. It's crazy. But the rice say, your, I'm not the Ray Rice your ass. <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 Rice Rice isn't about to. They're dropped out all the way to the he bottom. Said Ray they they got to do something. Rice. They got to do something. That's why I said it. Because yeah. I saw that. <laughs> Gosh. Um, all right. Yeah, Texas Vanderbilt Tech and Oklahoma. Oh, yep. yep. Texas Tech and Oklahoma. That should oh, be a really good kiss. series to see. Mm-hmm. With no promises there. And two friends in a room. What? You're in Iowa, bro. I'll come visit. Stop. Yeah, said Vanderbilt, Vanderbilt, Arkansas, Arkansas, Arkansas is a good one. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I don't know if it will be. Texas A&M. Well, Vanderbilt, if they can, you know, hold their own against Arkansas, I feel like that'll be all right because, yeah. like, they did well this they, past weekend. So Okay. If Vanderbilt wins, if they win the series, okay. so two out of three. do they come back into the top 25? Do they deserve mm. it? Tough. I'd say, I'd Does Vanderbilt say have no. a midweek game? I think Vanderbilt needs to sweep in order to be. In um, order to I could back. see the sweep for sure. I'm the looking sweep at Vandy's top won't five do opponent. It. Two out of three won't do it. Mm-mm. I'm looking at Vandy's schedule right now. They're 31 and 15 on the year, going out through. Uh, before Arkansas, they got Indiana State at a midweek on Tuesday. Okay. Um, I don't know. That'll be... I say if they if they can pull it out, I would say maybe because they had the big series win against um, Georgia. They you know, they lost the series to Texas A and M. That's the only thing, and they lost to Louisville. So I say that's the only thing that's holding them back out of the top twenty five at the moment. Um, is they dropped uh, two or they dropped one of their last three series. So mm. they'd have to. Then, I think if they sweep, they can come back. If in. they sweep, then maybe. It'll be, 20, it'll be 20 to 25. It won't be higher than 20. Oh, yeah. But if they can beat LSU as well and win the series, not even sweep, if they sweep Arkansas, win the series against LSU and drop a game, I say well, they're in the top 25, no doubt. I think that determines – if LSU, they should still be ranked. Um, yeah. but LSU they, is still ranked. Ole Miss is not – like, they, if Ole Miss they can't take beats a up on LSU this weekend and mm-hmm. they drop out, I if even if Vanderbilt sweeps LSU, I still don't think they're in there. I think yeah, they Arkansas. would need to sweep Arkansas. Mm-hmm. They need LSU to win, and then they would need to sweep them to go top twenty. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I would say because I mean the one thing that Vandy still does have for them, and they've had it every year, is pitching. I mean they've got um, the top top arm at the moment so far. Um, out of the starters with most innings pitch is uh, Chris McEvlin. And he's got a three, uh, three point four eight ERA. So I mean, he's 
he's dicing them up. The bullpen right now is also very, very stout. Um, lowest DRA is Tommy Schultz with a one four. So Tommy Tanks, wait, no, Tommy not strikeouts. Tommy Tanks. Yeah. If you okay, if you can combine two conferences and basically have like a a Royal Rumble in a way, oh, which two would you combine? You're saying like a, with a, for dominance, like no, what, what, just, what you mean? Just, just so because. you take like the top teams of certain conferences and put them together? Nope. Entire conference. That'd be a massive conference. A super yeah, conference? You just fight. Yeah, you just fight for who's – that right there. How could you determines... play everyone? Huh? There's no way you would be able to play everyone. I kind of I kind of want to see the ACC and the SEC. Interesting. That'd be mine. For baseball, I just want to see, like, Big 12 and baseball, SEC. Baseball, I'm not talking about golf. Like, Big 12 and SEC. I feel like we would all contribute, though, the SEC to some yeah, I think the SEC conference. has to. No. All right. Conference USA for Mikey. <laughs> Conference USA and uh, Big Ten. That's Conference what he would do. Conference USA wouldn't hang. But, no, I think – I don't know if this would be interesting or not. But All you right. take the Big East. They're not even power five. But you take the Big East and then the new Big 12. Just take so out for next Texas season? and Oklahoma. Yeah, because, yeah, because Texas is leaving. And Oklahoma's that leaves out. then what? TCU, Okie Texas State. Texas Tech. Yeah, like you still have three very good teams there. You got UConn, which is very good. Creighton's decent every year. And Xavier is usually a pretty good team. So, like, you got three big teams mm-hmm. in so each as conference. It, as it would sit as you would lose Oklahoma and Texas, the teams in the Big 12, you had Oklahoma State, TCU, Texas Tech, West Virginia, K-State, Baylor, Kansas as your originals, adding in – Houston, BYU, Cincinnati, and UCF. And neither, none of those schools are dominant baseball schools. No. Houston can be, maybe. Houston can be, but otherwise, right. I mean, baseball, no. When it comes to football now on the other, on the other side of the story, that's going to be a different issue when it, and everything else. But I'd say for baseball, you throw the Big East in with the Big 12, I think that'd be pretty solid. you got some teams that would be able to compete. you got some um, more middle-of-the-road teams to add. But – and I you think, guys yeah. doubted me. Mm. No, I think it'd be a fun conference to watch. That hurts my heart. But I'm a child at heart, and you just you broke go. it. I'm, we're sorry. No, if, if you're I'm a child, not genuine. Not your, I'm not sorry. If you're a child, it's your bedtime, man. So that means we gotta wrap it up. <laughs> Wrong, bitch. I determine my own bedtime. All right. Anyways, but I guess since we kind of covered everything, is that we're good? We're good. You need a sponsor. I can plug. No, we don't need right now. I got one. All right, let's just off one of our it. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Great. Perfect. Wait, wait, I got you. <laughs> Rakuten, baby. What? Up to ten percent cash back on fashion, groceries, and more. It's no. not Rakuten. That's it's Rakuten. Rakuten. <laughs> Rakuten, baby. You're kidding. Join now. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Rakuten. 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 <laughs> All yes, right. Sir. Well, Send since you're already here, um, you can go ahead and like and subscribe. And hit uh, the raccoon button <laughs> for $10 bonus. Okay. Um, yep, try that. But, you know, if that doesn't work, please like work. and subscribe. Um, again, we are the No Place Like Omaha podcast. You can find us on uh, Twitter and TikTok. I almost said Instagram and Facebook. Which and would have been wrong. <laughs> but Twitter and TikTok at Omaha pod. Again, Um, Thank you guys for tuning in, and you will be seeing us on Wednesday, so we hope you have a blessed weekend and you had a fantastic Mother's Day. Boom. Happy Mother's Day. We will see you guys next week. Adios. Dodge.